Hey guys, Technocraft here back with another video and today we'll be doing an unboxing of the third generation iPod Shuffle. This was officially the world's smallest MP3 player at the time, uh, measuring only 1.8 inches tall. This was undoubtedly the most convenient, the most compact MP3 player there was. You can see how small the box is and just how small the device is. There were actually no physical buttons or controls at all except for a three position switch and one port only, a headphone jack all on the top of the device. But this box I designed myself, as I did before. Um, it looks very similar to the iPod Nano box that I did in my previous video. Make sure to check that out if you haven't. And uh, let's just take a look around this one. So we have iPod Shuffle in the front and a picture of the device itself. At the top we have some information, this is capacity information. This is the 2 gigabyte model. We have an Apple logo on the side. This is also actually where we're going to slide it out, just like the iPod Nano box. On the back, we have iPod Shuffle again, and a picture of the thick thickness. I mean, see how thin it is. Um, on the bottom, have some shipping information and the serial number information. Let's go ahead and open this. Slide side out. Just a little sleeve there. And here we have the iPod Shuffle nestled there at the top. Apple logo on the side. Let's go ahead and lift this tray. There's the tray here. Let's pull out the iPod. Set that aside. Take a look at what else is in the box. A really crudely designed quick start guide. Um, kind of just shows what's on the device itself. And in here you have your Apple earphones of course. The old Apple headphones. And of course this homemade USB to jack adapter. This is to charge and sync your iPod shuffle. Yeah, this is homemade uh, out of paper. But that's basically what comes in the box. Let's go ahead and set all this stuff aside. Take a look at the actual iPod. We're going to be doing a quick comparison of this iPod with my uh, other iPods. But there it is. See how shiny it is? This is the special edition third generation with the stainless steel uh, body. There's the clip got Apple on it, and I've got off, play, and shuffle songs for the little button on the top, and the clip works. You can see how seamless it is, and you can see really just how small it is, just in my hand there. Now on the bottom there's nothing. On the sides, it's a really nice rounded shape. On the top, you have your headphone jack, the status light for when you're charging or syncing, and that little three uh, position switch that I was talking about. And in another video, I'll do a demonstration and go out with this. I'll show you how I can actually clip this on. Now let's go ahead and compare this iPod. Uh, first, I just want to show you that the headphone jack actually plugs in so I can take the charger and plug it in there you go I can charge it just like that it works the same with the earbuds I'll show you that later in, in the demonstration videos let's go ahead and quickly compare it to the iPod Nano that I unboxed in the previous video to see how much smaller it is and it's literally almost as wide as it is as the length is, but uh, the thickness is actually about the same, I'd say. Uh, the back is very different. There's no branding, only just the Apple logo branding. There's no iPod or anything like that. But top, see, it's very different. 
So I can also compare this to my incredibly thick iPod Classic in paper that I made. I will show you this in a future video. Look at that. So tiny compared to it. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.